Being a solo developer sounds amazing on paper. No meetings, no managers breathing down your neck, no endless Slack messages asking if you've seen the latest update. It's just you, your ideas, and your code. You get to call the shots, build what you want, and take all the credit. But here's the catch. When something breaks or dependencies go out of date, it's also just you. So is it really the utopia devs think it is? Or is it a trap in disguise? In today's video, we'll break down what it's really like to be a solo dev. The freedom, the chaos, the burnout, and the unexpected lessons you learn when you're the entire team. And before we start the video, I got some good news for you code heads. I made a Discord server where we can all hang out, share memes, and help each other. So hurry up, join using the link in the description or by scanning this QR code. All right, back to the video. When you first start out, it feels like a creative high. You've got an idea you're passionate about. Maybe it's a web app, a handy mobile app, or an addictive game you think will revolutionize the industry. And no one's stopping you. You get to make every decision, the tech stack, the design, the features. You imagine launching it to the world, getting praise for your clean UI and smooth animations, and maybe even making some money from it. This is the honeymoon phase pure energy and optimism. You pull all-nighters not because you have to, but because you're genuinely excited. It's just you and your laptop against the world. But it doesn't take long before the cracks start to show. You quickly realize how many hats you actually have to wear. You're not just coding. You're designing, testing, deploying, fixing, maintaining, marketing, and handling customer feedback. One moment you're deep in back-end logic, and the next you're Googling how to center a div, you think you're building a product, but really, you're managing a small company, and you're the only employee. There's no team to delegate to, no QA department to catch bugs, no designer to fix your questionable color choices. Every mistake, every missed deadline, every broken feature, that's on you. Then comes the burnout phase, the silent killer of solo projects. You've been staring at the same code base for weeks, at trying to fix a bug that refuses to die, and you start to lose steam. Without teammates to motivate you or deadlines to hold you accountable, progress can start to crawl. You tell yourself you'll take a short break, and suddenly three weeks go by. The project that once excited you now feels like a burden. You start avoiding it, not because you don't care, but because you're tired of being stuck in your own head. Every solo dev hits this wall at some point and it's brutal. And then there's the loneliness, the part no one really talks about. When you're working solo, there's no one to bounce ideas off, no one to share wins or frustrations with. You might ship a new feature you're proud of, but when there's no one to celebrate with, it feels oddly hollow. You start to miss even the annoying parts of team life. The random discussions, the second opinions, the feeling of collective progress. Being alone with your thoughts all day can be mentally draining, especially when you're second and guessing every decision you make. But here's where things start to shift. Over time, you develop an almost dangerous level of self-reliance. You become a problem-solving machine, you learn how to debug faster, design smarter, and plan better. You learn the value of simplicity because no one's there to clean up your mess later. You start to build intuition about what actually matters in a project. Suddenly, it's not about using the latest shiny framework, it's about getting things done. You develop your own workflow, your own pace, and your own style. You start to feel like a real builder. And once you push through that wall, something magical happens. You launch. It might not be perfect, it might not get thousands of users, but it's yours. Every line of code, every design decision, every feature was made by you. That sense of ownership is something few developers ever experience fully. It's not just pride. It's proof that you can take an idea from zero to reality entirely on your own. The solo dev experience isn't for everyone. It's frustrating, exhausting, and sometimes lonely. But it's also empowering. You learn more from one solo project than from years of teamwork because you see how every piece fits together. You're forced to grow in areas you'd normally ignore. You stop depending on others to solve problems for you. You build things because you can, not because someone told you to. And speaking of building things, if you want to create unique code projects that will distinguish you from the competition, why don't you use Code Crafters, today's sponsor? They are the most rated GitHub repo, and that's for a good reason. Their platform gives you access to unique projects that will help you stand out from the competition without the clown shoes and nose. Want to build an HTTP or DNS server from scratch? Check! Hell, you can even craft your own version of Git, all while others are still struggling to center that annoying div in their to-do app. You can start some projects free of charge, and if you use my link in the description, you can get yourself a whopping 40% off, so hurry up. This was Codehead with yet another tech rant. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe. Lights out!